Hello and welcome back to the Trainers of the World Tournament. I'm your host, Delta TDS, and today for match number 119, we've got the Castle Valet Derek going up against the Kalos Gym Leader Wolfric. Uh, we've seen Derek hold on to a 4 0 record right now through this tournament, going 2 0 against Lucian and 2 0 against Oleana. As Wolfrix got his own 2-0 record against Fantina, who had a Garatina. Both trainers have shown a lot of promise for this tournament. Derek's got the Mega Gallade. Wolfrix got the Mega Bomb Snow. It's gonna be a fun match. Once these trainers are ready, we can begin at game number one. I am curious to see how Wolfric will face off against Napoleon Steel type. Inte's fire type and Gallade's fighting type, as well as Hounder. Wolfric leading off with that Lapras, Derek leading off with the Inte. Starting off with the Protect as Lapras goes for that ancient power. Inte scouting out just what Wolfric's trying to do. Switching out to the Masharna. Thunderbolt with the critical hit is going to do just under a third to Masharna. Wolfric going to switch out to that Obama Snow as Masharna sets up a Calm Mind. That leftover is cancelling out that hail damage. Wolfric's going to Mega Evolve. Psychic's going to get a critical hit and do 90% to Obama Snow as it sets up the Aurora Veil. You've seen that Aurora Veil save a lot of Pokemon in the past. Woodhammer is going to do 62% to Masharna as the recoil does take it out. And Masharna is left on 14% health right now. Wolfric sending out the Mamoswine here. I believe has Snow Cloak. That or Thick Fat, one of the two. Earthquake does take out that Masharna. Derek sending out the Star Raptor, getting the Intimidate on that Mamoswine. Close Combat's gonna do just under half as Avalanche does take out that Star Raptor. Derek sending back out that Inte. Probably gonna be his key to taking out Wolfric. Flare Blitz into that Avalux is going to only do a quarter to it. That thing is insanely bulky, though the Aurora Veil did just lift up now. Switching out to the Empoleon, Crunch is going to do just over a third to it. As Avalog is slowly healing up thanks to those leftovers. Napoleon going for a flash cannon, taking out that Avalog, bringing Wolfric down to four Pokemon, making it even. Wolfric sitting back out the Mamoswine. Earthquake does take out that Napoleon. Derek's got two fire types and a fighting type fighting type he is sending out. Gonna go ahead and Mega Evolve that Gallade, going for the close combat, taking out the Mamoswine, and bringing Wolfric down to three Pokemon. Sending out the Glaceon now. Switching out to the Houndoom, taking over a third from that Shadow Ball. Fire Blast is going to do 36% to Lapras as it switches in. Another Fire Blast does 42%. Sparkling Aria does finish off that Houndoom. And Mega Gallade is sent back out here. Wolfric switching out to the Cryogonal 
as Gallade takes it out very swiftly. Glaceon is sent back out. Derek switching out to that uh, Ento. Water Pulse doing 80% to it. Flare Blitz does take out that Glaceon. It's an eye for an eye. And now it's down to Gallade and Lapras. Close Combat does take out that Lapras. And Derek taking game number one of match 119. We saw quite a lot from Wolfric's team. We saw all four moves on the uh, Lapras. And we didn't see anything from that Cryogonal. We saw the Aurora Veil from Obama Snow and the Aguav Berry on the Lapras. As for Derek's team, we saw just about one, one move from each of his Pokemon. We are back on the field for game number two. And we're going to see if Derek can take his third 2-0 victory or if Wolfric can bring this to a game number three. We've seen it happen with the past two matches. Wolfric leading off with the Abomasnow, Snow. Derek leading off with that Staraptor. Like I said before, this Staraptor is not going to like Ice types, but that close combat will help it some. Wolfric switching out to the Glaceon. Brave Bird is going to do 59% to Glaceon. Close Combat does take out that Glaceon. Surprisingly making it through the Snow Coat. Wolfric sending out that Mamoswan. As Derek switches out to the Empoleon. Stone Edge is going to do just under 20% to it. That hail will bring Empoleon down to three quarters. Wolfric switching out to the Cryogonal. Derek switching out to the Staraptor. Setting up the Aurora Veil. Close combat's gonna do 74% just as that hail ends. Making the Aurora Veil last as long as it can. Blizzard's gonna do a mere 11%. Cryogonal going for another hail, and Polion setting up an agility. Flash Cannon does take out the Cryogonal. And Derek still hasn't lost a Pokemon, as Wolfric is down to two Pokemon. Earthquake does take out that Empoleon. Forget whatever I just said. And Derek sends back out that Staraptor. Ice Shard doing 39% to the Staraptor. Post Combat does take out that Mammoth Swine. Sending out the Avalog, this absolute defensive tank. U turn is going to do 11% as Staraptor switches out to the Houndoom. Avalanche is going to do 36% to that Houndoom. And Avalanche switches out for Lapras as Fire Blast misses it. Derek switching out to the Masharna. Sparkling Aria is going to do 32%. A lot of switching going on in this game. Wolfric switching out to the Obama Snow. Psychic's going to do 44% to it. The Obama Snow going to Mega Evolve, start up the hail. Earthquake's going to do 37% to Masharna, as Psychic does 35 to Obama Snow. Setting up the Aurora Veil, Psychic's going to do 17% and Apama Snow is left on 3% right now. Earthquake, not enough to take out the Masharna as 
Well, it does take it out in the, in the end. Derek's got four Pokemon left. Wolfric's got two left. And Derek sends out that Entei against Wolfric's Avalug. Probably not Entei's favorite Pokemon to go up against, considering how defensive it is. Avalanche trying to go for uh, Avalug trying to go for Avalanche, but Entei does use the protect and switches out to the Houndoom. Avalanche is going to do 31% to it, as there is one more turn of Aurora Veil vale left. Fire Blast is going to do 20% to that Lapras. Switching out to the uh, Star Raptor, getting that Intimidate off just as it falls to Ancient Power. And Derek sends out the Gallade. Gonna Mega Evolve and go for the Swords Dance. Close Combat does take out that Avalog. And it's all down to Lapras once more. Close Combat does take out that Lapras. And Derek takes game number two. Derek takes match number 119. Which means he'll be moving on to round four where he'll be going up against the winner of tomorrow's match. Either the Kanto Gym Leader Janine or the Galar Gym Leader Avery. Thank you so much for watching and until then, take care.